Experience is everything. It's starting to make sense. Professor, are you here to train? I knew it! Gotta train daily. Legs, back, chest, arms, abs. Gotta work them all, right? I just finished training, and I feel great. Check me out! Are my muscles bulging? Another day of training, and my muscles are ready to burst. Bulging muscles mean strength. I have to be strong if I want to be a proper knight. And I have to eat if I want to keep training. Time to feast. Ah, way to hit me where it hurts, Professor. I know I'll be in trouble if I don't train my brain, too. Anyone who can't get tactics can't be a proper knight. It's just, I'm no good at remembering that kind of stuff. And training my brain instead of my body makes me sleepy. What if I start training twice as hard? Then I should only have to study half as much, right? You really think so? I can't let that happen. I guess I have no choice. I'll prove I can do it. Wish me luck, Professor. For my training and for my studies. Thank you so much. Hey, Teach. Glad you can make it. We've been waiting on you. It seems the Knights have our foes cornered. They are in Xanado, the Red Canyon. It's bandit time? That sounds like real night work. Let's get to it. I'm itching to put my skills to the test as well. We have to win so Captain Gerald can see how much I've learned. I thought Gerald wasn't coming with us. Either way, I'll give it everything I've got. Um, even if I go, it's not like I'd be of any use. That's enough of that. If we don't work together and give it our all, we are doomed to fail. You can be pretty intense sometimes, Lysithia. But I agree. Let's do our best. If we fight half as well as we chatter, we'll be fine. Come on, Teach. Lead the way. combine this incantation method with the power of a crest, then in theory, it should... Hey there. Still studying, are we? Isn't it past your bedtime? Claude, I really don't appreciate you interrupting me right now. Uh, but if you don't get your sleep, you're never gonna grow big and strong. Uh-huh. The last thing I need is you fretting over me as though I'm some child. I'm only a few years younger than you, you know. Hardly worth noting. Furthermore, my grades in magic and basically every other subject are far higher than yours. Whoa there. I'm not trying to treat you like a child, I promise. This is me treating you like... like a princess. Now, come along, princess. Brush your teeth and get yourself ready for bed. 
I could read you a story if that helps. Ah, oh, the audacity. Whatever it is you think you're treating me like, it's unendingly annoying. If a child and a princess are out, what's left? Should I treat you as a noble hero? Draw your sword, Lysithia. If you wish to continue studying, you must first defeat me in battle. Come now, face me like the hero of legend that you are. I find myself speechless in the wake of your staggering ignorance. Now, please, leave me be. Okay, okay, I can take a hint. But in all seriousness, you shouldn't neglect your sleep. You'll fall ill if you push yourself too hard. Oh, and just so you know, I heard a rumor that this library is haunted. <gasps> it's probably not true. Right? Right. Anyhow, I'm off to bed. Good night. You know, I am suddenly rather sleepy. Excuse me while I see myself out. <laughs> no matter how she tries to hide it, she's still a young girl at heart. <laughs> Have the gods taken pity on my lost soul and revealed a sign to me? I've been researching the ten elites of Fodlan, but I can't tell fact from fiction. Anyhow, what can I help you with? Well, um, I found this pendant, and I think it's yours. Ah, right you are. Yeah, honestly, I'd resign myself to never seeing it again. It's a keepsake from my uncle, who has passed on. If I truly lost it, my grandfather would have had my head. Thanks for returning it to me, Marianne. You saved my tail. Please, it was nothing. I should be... No, I think that's enough researching for today. Why don't you join me for a nice chat? I just came to deliver the pendant. Sounds awfully lonely to only talk to those whom you have business with. Do you really dislike talking to people that much? It's just... I never know what to say. I'm sorry. No need to apologize. We'll figure it out as we go. Tell me, are you like this with your father, too? Within the Alliance, Margrave Edmund is prone to debate. With a father like that, I would have thought... Margrave Edmund is my adoptive father. Oh, is he? I didn't know. Where were you born? That is none of your concern. I, um, I really must be going. She's hiding something, that much is clear. Ah, but that just makes me all the more desperate to know her secrets. <laughs> huh? Are you actually reading, Hilda? I thought you hated studying. Oh, hush. It's just a letter from my brother. He sends them all the time. Your brother, huh? Isn't he known as a great general of the Alliance? A true beacon of... Don't even start. That's got nothing to do with me. Uh-oh. Better not let your brother hear you say that. It would break his fraternal heart. But all joking aside, it sounds like he really cares for you. You can say that again. He must be rather bored, too, now that the situation in Elmira has settled down. Ah, the Elmirans. The Eastern Menace, as they're often called. I did hear your brother had fought them a number of times. In fact, I hear he's even gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Nadir, the great Elmiran warrior. Nadir, the undefeated, was it? Just another grizzled old man as far as I'm concerned. But my father was ecstatic when he heard my brother had defeated him. He paraded my brother all over our territory. What a pain that must have been for our people. A pain? Any celebration is something to be enjoyed. Celebration puts smiles on faces faster than anything. I'm sure even you at least congratulated him, right? A smile from you would surely mean the world to your brother. Well, sure. Then he got all worked up and started saying things like, I am the protector of Fodlin. That's not far from the truth, you know. Why do you think the Almirans have been so quiet lately? 
they're wary of your brother. If House Goneril of the Border were a bunch of weaklings, the Almirans would have invaded Fodlan a long time ago. You talk about it as though you've spoken to the Almirans yourself. Well, I am heir to the leading house of the Alliance. I'm privy to all kinds of information, whether I like it or not. <laughs> you act so nonchalant about your studies, but you know so much about politics and history. You're a hard guy to grasp, you know that, Claude? Oh, I disagree. I'd let you grasp me any day. My hand, my heart, even my neck. But if you want to know all of my secrets, you'll have to bear yours as well. <laughs> Hey there, Claude. Where are you headed? If you need some extra muscle, count me in. No thanks. Not much need for heightened security at the monastery. Well, most of the time, anyway. Ish, I can take a hint. I'm just trying to help you out. The way I see it, can't do better than cozying up to the Claude von Regan, future leader of the Alliance. You can get as cozy as you like, but I don't think that'll lower the price on your head. Couldn't hurt. People trust you. They trust the folks you run with. I could use a little trust in my life. So you're hoping this newfound trust will trick more people into lending you money? Yeah, count me out. You know, fighting debt with debt won't work, right? <sighs> Just as well. If you mess up leading the Alliance, their plan's a bust anyway. So count me out, pal. By the way, Claude, are you really the heir of House Regan? Yes. That's my current understanding, anyway. Why do you ask? I've never heard any talk of the last Duke Regan leaving a son behind when he died in that accident. Duke Oswald the Old. Your father? Tall tale if you ask me. And if that's not the case, then who exactly did you get your Regan blood from? Look at you figuring things out all by yourself. Sorry to say the true story isn't all that interesting. I was born to an offshoot of House Regan. When my crest manifested, I was accepted into the ruling bloodline. That's all there is to it. Nice try, but I'm not buying it. House Regan produces dukes and leads the whole of the Alliance. Not having an heir is a matter of life and death. Any relative with a crest would be accepted immediately. But no one even knew you existed until fairly recently. It's fishy, Claude. Remarkably fishy. I think I've finally figured you out. You're working for Lawrence, aren't you? Here's what I really can't work out. Duke Oswald's only daughter, Tiana? Whatever happened to her? I met her a few times when I was a kid. She was a great lady. A real looker, too, let me tell ya. I see your mind was just as pure when you were a kid as it is now. How'd you even cross paths with her? As the legitimate heir of a minor noble house, I got a pretty decent glimpse into high society. Lady Tiana was something special. The stuff of dreams, really. And one day, she just vanished. Poof. Gone. I'll never forget hearing about it. Wow. So, you've had a particular interest in older women since way back when. Sorry, go on. When my old man told me, I cried buckets. Even Holst lost it. Holst? As in Holst the Indomitable Alliance General? Huh. I never knew that. Yeah. And after a while, I heard a strange rumor. Some say Lady Tiana left to live in a far-off land. Once I remember that, the rest fell into place. Right. Say, have you considered minding your own business? Isn't that enough of a handful as it is? If you want to have a real discussion sometime, bring me facts. Not a bunch of tired gossip. Deal? Anyway, Teach is waiting for me at the training ground, so I better get going. Uh, nice try, Claude, but I'm on to you. Ah, meat is the best! Veggies and fish are great too, but uh, <laughs> there's nothing like a good cut of meat. May I join you? Hey, Lawrence. You here to eat? It looks like you barely grabbed anything. Please, this amount will suffice for me. There's no need to compare our portions. No 
wonder you're so skinny. My little sis eats more than you. Come on, have some of mine. You need it more than I do. Uh, you offer me half-eaten scraps? The nerve. With manners like that, even a nobleman would be an absolute disgrace. Have you no dignity? You're pretty touchy, huh? It's probably just because you're hungry. Raphael, please, do you mind? I cannot enjoy the simple pleasure of a meal in these conditions. Why can't you enjoy your meal? You don't like what's on the menu? You wait here. I'll go to the kitchen and find something tastier for you. That won't be necessary. Please, just let me eat. In peace. Alone. I don't think you get it, Lawrence. Nothing goes with a meal better than good company. If leading the Alliance is your goal, you should really try eating with other people first. I'm afraid I fail to see the connection between leadership and dining. If you want to be a leader, you have to know how to get along with different types of people, right? If you really want to get to know someone, all you have to do is share a meal with them. Quite the contrary, unfortunately. It seems the more time I spend eating with you, the less likely we are to become friends. The, the more you eat with someone, the more you learn about them. Their likes, their dislikes, you know? You might get some of their food that way, too. You can eat more and bulk up. <laughs> All that talking made me hungry again. I'm gonna go get seconds. Oh, what an absolute bother. But I suppose he does have a point about observations of character at the dinner table. Ah, this theory just isn't coming together. The thought behind it is sound enough, but... Hmm. Hey, Lysithia, your forehead's all wrinkled. You look tense. Is something wrong? You know you can tell your big bro rat... Uh, I mean, <laughs> you know you can tell me anything, right? Raphael, while I appreciate your offer, I'm not so sure you'll be much help here. What does that mean? Oh, are you researching something complicated? In that case, yeah, you're probably right. Is there something else I can help you with? I'm really good at other things, like training. <laughs> I have absolutely zero interest in such things. I have an idea. Do you want to get real good at playing tag? I can teach you. There's a trick to it that most people don't know. Like to not get tagged and stuff. Let me show you. It's too sunny to spend all day inside studying. Come on, Big Bro's gonna take you outside. Uh, shut up, shut up, shut up! Can't you see I'm busy? Go bother someone else. What nerve you have too calling yourself Big Bro. Like I'm your little sister or some nonsense. Just cut the act. Uh... Did I really say that out loud? Anyway, my grades are miles better than yours. If you want to play the part of Big Brother, you'd probably benefit from studying way, way more. Like I said, I'm really good at other things. Just not classroom learning. I can't stand all the excuses. Clearly, you're the little kid here. You got all that? Now don't bother me again. Understood? Bye. <sighs> she must be going through a rebellious phase. Hey, Leone. Are you just getting back? Whoa! What's with the bag? It's huge! Oh, this? <laughs> I thought I'd get all my chores done at once. Guess I got a little out of hand. Sorry to be a pain, but could you help me out? I'm happy to help. Where'd you go to get all this stuff? Well, first it was just the cloth scraps from the tailor, and then it was the used oil from a restaurant in town. After that, it was the books the scholars didn't know what to do with. I mean, that was just on the way. Whoa, it sounds like you did a lot of running around today. It wasn't so bad. I just figured it would save time if I did it all in one trip. You planned all that out? Impressive! What are you gonna do with all that stuff you got? The scraps will be good for dishcloths, and I can make soap from the oil. The books are just to help with my studies. You really can't let anything go to waste, can you? Nope. 
can't stand the idea. Who knew you were so thoughtful? I mean, with actual thinking ahead. You're so generous to everyone and always making me food. I never knew how much thought you must put into it. I cook to relax, and it's nice seeing how enthusiastic you get about eating what I make. Whatever I give away is just the stuff that isn't useful to me. I pick up all sorts of things when I'm in town. Giving things like that to people who need them or who can actually use them makes sure they aren't wasted. That makes sense. You've got to use up the stuff you've got, after all. Hey, do you think you're like this because you didn't have much growing up? <laughs> I guess times were tough now that you mention it. The folks in my village definitely aren't rich. My dad had to go through a lot of trouble to get the recommendations I needed to attend the academy. That doesn't mean I've grown up to be stingy. It just means I don't like to squander. Anyway, enough of that. It's in poor taste to go on about your own hardships. I've always got time for a meal with a friend, and it so happens I picked up some choice meat today. Why don't we share it? Now you're speaking my language. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready to start cleaning? No, that's all right. Actually, I'm just finishing up. Oh, it's true. Look how tidy everything is. You've done such a marvelous job. I'm glad I didn't get in your way. <laughs> Thank you very much. So anyway, you can go now. Hmm? You were talking to your friend, right? I just have some things to put away. It's okay. I can manage without you. Oh, Ignatz, I thought I saw someone earlier. That was you, wasn't it? You know, I'd have been willing to help. You could have just said, hey, let's go and clean. It's all right, you were having a conversation. I didn't want to sneak up like I was eavesdropping, and really, I didn't need help. Oh, Ignatz, you darling. You're so considerate. Thank you so very much. Glad to be of service. I'll start putting all this away. So fast. W what's the matter? Aren't you overdoing it? Don't you think you might be taking on too much? Hmm? Oh, uh, I didn't expect to hear that from you. Let me give you some advice. It's true that I like to delegate as many tasks as I possibly can, but when someone helps me, I make sure to lavish them with praise as a reward for their hard work. So, then we come out even. On the other hand, look what almost happened just now. You did all that work for me, and I almost missed it. Now, where would that leave you? With no praise, no thanks. You'd be losing out. Um, personally, I'd prefer to lose out rather than inconvenience someone else. For instance, I'd have felt terrible for intruding on your important conversation earlier. Consider the negligible loss to me versus the major inconvenience to you. Personal loss is always going to be the better choice, right? Huh. Well, if that's how you feel, then I'm not sure how to convince you otherwise. <laughs> Lysithia? What's all this commotion? What's happening? There's been an accident at the training grounds. A spell gone amok. Come on, we need all the help we can get over there. Oh no, but I don't know how I... We could really use your help before things get out of hand. Come on, hurry! I... I don't think I would be much help. Oh, for the goddess's sake! You won't know unless you try, will you? Don't decide you're of no use without even giving it a shot! Fine then. Forget it. I'll go on my own. You can just stand here and stare at the wall. I... <sighs> I'm sorry. I can't do anything right. Oh. Perhaps I took it too far. Hey! Um, Marianne? Do you have a minute? Listen, 
I'm sorry about all the stuff I said earlier. The situation was urgent, and I'll admit, I wasn't thinking clearly. I shouldn't have been so callous. I hurt your feelings, didn't I? No, it's fine. I'm the one to blame. Huh? But, hey, are you sure you're all... I'm the one who should apologize. All I did was get in your way. You would have made it to the training grounds much sooner if I hadn't slowed you down. Huh? Wait a second. It's all my fault. It's always my fault. The accident was probably my fault, too. You're being so... negative. I don't know what to say. <laughs> So, we are taking children into battle, are we? I am not certain I will be able to sleep soundly after beholding something like that. I shall allow you to turn back the hands of time. But no, this power is not infinite. So this is the Red Canyon. Doesn't look red to me. Anyway, let's get things started, Teach. Looks like the thieves have been driven back. That's what we last heard, so no surprise there. The knights chased us all the way here? Chief, let's get out of here. There's no way we can win against them. Shut your dumb mouth! Where would we go at this point? You can't be a thief if you fear death! I hear there's a back road to the west. How about we split up and attack from there and from the front? We may be able to corner the enemy by approaching from both sides. In any case, we need to cross the bridge first. I'll leave the details to you, Teach. Stand ready. Come, me. Do our part. Gonna help. <laughs> 
Never underestimate an outsider. We were taken by surprise last time, but I guess this is what we can expect when battling thieves. about this I'm sorry I didn't have a choice Trivial victory. It is a noble's duty to guard the welfare of the people. Nothing personal. I'm still growing. know my own strength this is my first real fight I guess I'm pretty strong done yet. more I can learn. Please 
Please forgive me, goddess, and save their souls. I just worked harder. I have to try harder. A precious opportunity to test my own strength. I won't make waste of your deaths. Appreciated. I stand ready. I got this. <laughs> 